Hello, you guys. So today I thought I would put on a full face of cream products. I'm super excited. I've never done it myself before. So I thought I would come on here and give it a shot. And so if you would like to see all the products I used and how I came up with this look, please continue watching. And if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. All right, you guys, let's go try some cream products. I thought today would be kind of fun uh, going through some, you know, cream products. For some reason, I've been gravitating towards those a lot lately. I don't know if it's because I'm getting the spring summer vibes. I'm getting super excited and I have a couple new products uh, I wanted to give out a try. So yeah, we'll just jump right into it. I'm actually going to start with my complexion today and uh, because <laughs> with the products I'm using, there will not be any fallout. So I'm going to start off with a uh, I mean my nose with my elf putty uh, I think I'm going to use that today just to help with the foundation I have chose to use and I'm going to use my hard candy uh, hydrating primer you guys know how much I love this um, I will tell you you know if you are new um, and have not seen me use this before it is a very um, it has a lot of stick to it so it grabs your foundation really good for the foundation today that i've chosen i'm going to use actually the uh, apple foundation by kvd i actually enjoy this foundation um i know a lot of people either love it or hate it and i actually like it um it works well on my skin uh, i have dry mature skin and it yeah it just does work with me um i haven't had any problems with it yet so um i don't know i think i'm one of the few that probably really do enjoy this foundation now as you can see uh, a little bit goes a very long way uh, so you got to be careful with the application of it I do have a video on that of uh, tips of what can make this work for you a little bit better I think applying it with a sponge is um, probably the best way for application with this foundation because I think with the brush it just there's too much coverage so this kind of uh, evens everything out. The shade is a little light on me, so unfortunately in the summer this will not work. All right, so now I'm going to go into this. Um, I also have one as that I use for my concealer uh, under the eyes, but I do also see people use this as like a contour or even even a um, bronzer. So I wanted to give it a try, and I got it in warm chestnut. So as you can see, I've not even used this yet. Oh boy, I hope this is not too dark. Uh, this looks pretty dark. Um, so I'm just going to be very careful. And again, this is a contour, so it's going to, I do want it a little deeper. So I'm just going to kind of start small and we can always work our way up. Uh, for this, I think I'm going to use a sponge. And just kind of tap it out. Hey, I actually, this, that is pretty nice. I'm going to put just a little bit more. Like I said, I want to build this up because uh, I wasn't sure how pigmented uh, this would be. I'm actually going to put a little bit under my double chin to hide that a little bit. may have applied just a little bit too much. So what I'm doing is going over it with where I had the foundation on my sponge. Okay, I actually really like that. Now I am gonna bronze and I'm gonna use my sole. And I got this through uh, ColourPop's website. And I think this is just another product that they sell. And it's just like, it's a balm. Now I have used this and I love it. So I, I think in the summer I am just going to be using this a lot and it is a buildable uh, bronzer so uh, I'm thinking I might get away with it in the summertime um, but I may have to purchase a darker one and I'm just going right above where I contoured just put some color in my face do you guys use uh, cream products I would love to 
hear what your thoughts on it. Um, you know, I've always wondered, like people that do have oily skin, uh, if they're able to use cream products. Now, I will say some of the products here, I think you definitely could use, like definitely this. Um, that did that did seem a little drier. It doesn't seem like it would be a problem with people with oily skin. This one, I'm not sure. Uh, this one might, though. So I'm just curious. Does anyone else use cream products and your thoughts on it? I'm also going to use this uh, to contour my nose just a touch. And I'm using the uh, Real Techniques brushes for the cream products. And if you guys are interested, I'll link these brushes down in the description box below. Uh, every time I do use products, everything's always listed. Uh, down there just if you guys don't know but I find that these two brushes work super well with cream products now I'm going to conceal my under eyes and I love this the Milani supercharged under eye tint I got mine in peach um, it really helps cancel out uh, these dark spots that you guys see here as I've gotten older it's gotten worse um, but this under eye corrector is so hydrating and creamy um so it does not dry out my under eyes it actually smooths everything over it helps with thicker concealers um you know just kind of makes them less cakey all right like i said i have the uh, concealer in this and this isn't just light uh, i have used this before i actually really like it And it does have like a little sponge applicator so you can use that um, I tend not to because I feel like it just has too much product on it I'm just gonna spray a sponge here and just kind of go over that and that I find is really helping with any settling and with my fine lines um, it, it does it like sets the concealer for blush, I'm going to use the e.l.f. is the putty blush. I absolutely love this blush. I bought, I think, every color. I think this was in Caribbean. I'm not sure that they never have the names on these, uh, but I will double check and put it in the description box below. But that is the shade. It looks super bright. And for applying this blush, I also use the Real Techniques. I love this brush for cream blush. It is just amazing. So what I do is just tap my brush in here. I'm going to just put a little bit on my back of my hand just in case I had put apply too much on the brush. Look how pretty this pink is. It is just beautiful. So if you feel like you applied a little bit too much, again, go in with your sponge that has a little bit of the foundation left over and just go over that. Now that I have all of my cream products laid down, um, I am going to set it with just a light uh, application of some powder just to lock everything in place and to help with a little bit of shine, especially around my nose area. The other thing I love about this e.l.f. Putty Blush is that you can go over powder even, you know, with this. And then for highlighter, I'm actually gonna try this. I've had it and I think I tried it one other time, I'm not sure it's by hard candy it's their illuminating stick so that's what it looks like and it has like these little pearls in it so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to just put it on my finger and just kind of tap it on and see what that looks like well, this is nice this is a nice little natural i'm uh, just adding a little bit of glow What do you guys think? Yeah, it's very subtle and actually very pretty. I've been seeing these Revlon um, cream eyeshadows going around. And so I picked up two of them. I got them on Amazon for super cheap. I think they were like $5 uh, each one. I just want to show you guys both uh, shades. I have not used this one yet, but it has like a nice mirror in here. And it looks like this one's matte and the rest are all kind of like a shimmery type uh, shadow. And this one is in a not just nude. So I might use one of these shades yet. I'm not sure. But this one I used the other day and I did like it. Um, the only thing is that these do, I think, 
um, maybe fade a little bit or and also I felt a little creasing so I think I'm gonna try something today to help with that uh, but you know they're great for like if you're going to the beach or something just to add a like a little color to your lid this one's in the shade wild orchids and this is what that this looks like um, and these are all pretty much shimmer shades uh, there is not a matte shade in this I'm actually going to uh, prime my eyes in this through ColourPop and it's in the shade Bronco It's actually meant to be a cream shadow but uh, in the past I have used it as a um, base the reason why I'm doing this is it's a little drier formula I think it's going to help uh, these cream shadows adhere to it better and plus it does give a little bit of color so it's almost like a transition I will say with this um, shadow or as I'm using it as a primer it is super dry so if you have super dry eyelids it's going to cling to all of those um, dry spots yeah I do have drier eyelids and even you know I can see a little bit of texture in there um, I have been really moisturizing my eyelids so they've gotten better um, but yeah so if you have dry eyelids I don't think you would like that okay so with cream shadows you can either just use your finger I actually found that these come in handy I don't know if you guys remember um, back in my elf mint collection video I did not like these brushes but I think honestly this is what they're meant for is cream products so I uh, came with the new stick so that makes sense uh, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna lay this down work this kind of in the corner first and I'm actually going to take it all across my lid and when most of the product is off I'm actually just going to go in circle motions but with a very light hand and just kind of creep that up towards my eye eyebrow yeah, it goes on uh, kind of heavy but then it just starts shearing out pretty nicely yeah, so I think if you're going to use a brush, you're going to want something that's a little stiffer. Uh, I think any soft brush, it would not apply well with. Okay, I'm going to switch brushes. It's more like a flat one. And I'm going to go into that same shade and just kind of deepen up this outer corner. And I'm not going to shear it out as much. If I was just going to the beach or a uh, pool, I'd probably just swipe on a cup of color and just run out the door. I would not spend this much time uh, applying this, but I just want to see what they do. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here and take that just across my whole lid here. Definitely a lavender. I do hope that they last all day and I'll put that in the uh, description box as well. But now I'm just going to go into this shade here, this little pink. I think I'm just going to add that to the inner corner. And I'm going to try this out of the other palette just to see what it looks like. And put that up by the brow bone. And for lining my upper lid, I think I'm going to use this. I got it in, I believe, one of my boxy charms. It's through Huda Beauty. I very rarely use eyeliner, you guys. But I just want to try something different, and I'm just going to take it across my lid. Nothing fancy, because I'm going to smudge this out. And I'm just going to just do a little wing. I'm going to take my finger and kind of smudge this up. wipe away anything I don't want so it's just a very light wing that I have going on I'm going to take another brush and I'm just going to smudge this into there just think it will make it nice and makes it look softer you know than the harsh black line especially with this look that we got going on and I'm just going to take that and draw just a small line again just right there I'm going to take my finger and swipe for my lower line, I'm going to use uh, through NYX. It's their Epic Wear, I believe it is. And it's just in the shade Purple. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I am using a lot of stuff that I normally would not wear. But um, yeah, I think, what, like I said, with spring and summer coming, I think I just want to be into different uh, color ranges, a good time to try new products. I wiped out that brush and I'm going to use that again. I'm just going to kind of smudge this out as well. All right, I'm still going to set my face. I'm going to use my uh, new favorite, the Makeup Revolution. It's their Conceal and Define. Absolutely love this stuff. Yeah, I just love that stuff. I just feel like it just brings life back into uh, anything that the powders have taken away. And, um, and it does really help with the longevity of my makeup. Okay, today I'm going to wear uh, falsies. And I'm just going to use my Demi Whips Wispies. And I think I'm actually just going to wear half one. So I'm going to cut these in half. So when I cut them, I usually go, you know, about halfway and just cut them off. And this will be my corner lash. I just use a strip adhesive here and I got mine in black. You know, put it on the lash here, focusing on the corners. Then you want to, you know, let that glue just sit on the lashes um, for at least 45 seconds, I think. Um, sometimes I'll let it like a minute or two, but you don't want to go too long. So it's like a sweet spot. So, you know, just uh, put on your mascara, lipstick at this point, and then go back in. For lipstick, I'm just going to use by Hard Candy. It's the Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe Nude. I'm just going to put a little bit of this Catrice Lache Glaze over just in the center area just to add a little bit more shine. I mean, this lipstick does have a beautiful shine, uh, but I just like to always get, put a little bit there. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes. Okay, and I'd like to put on my mascara after for some, my lashes always get in the way of this. So I my lashes on first. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I do go and recurl even with the la um, with the falsies. Now I go in with my mascara and kind of merge the two together. So I'm basically just focusing at the base. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look and I'm super happy with a lot of these products. I really did enjoy the uh, this for the contour. I think this is a great alternative to, and it's super affordable. I think it's like $9 at Ulta, again, through Makeup Revolution. I really like this hard candy uh, illuminating stick. I think that's super pretty. It's just super subtle, uh, perfect. Now this Huda um, liner, I do not like. <laughs> I'm glad I got it in my BoxyCharm, but um, as I was putting on my lashes on this side, um, it, it does not, last long uh it kind of wiped away so um yeah i won't be using this i'm going to look for a better uh, if you guys know of one a good black pencil um that is waterproof and really does last long but also you know he has that little time to smudge it a little bit uh let me know please like i said i normally don't use stick liners um or pencil liners and uh yeah so I wasn't happy with that. I really like the purple one, my NYX. So maybe the NYX black would be um, good. So we'll see if it does smear throughout the day though. Um, but I really like that shade, that purple. What I'm little on the fence about are these shadows. And it's weird because again, on Amazon, they had great, you know, has great reviews, but um, I love the look right now, but I even started noticing it was starting to go in the crease a little bit. Um, and I have put it eyes. So if you don't have put it eyes, it might not be a problem. But um, yeah, I will let you guys know if the shade faded throughout the day, if it really started creasing bad. Um, so yeah, right now I'm on the fence. But I think like on days that you just want to do a quick little shadow, this is going to come in handy. Um, even for me, you know, at that point, I don't care if it really creases. It's going to be very, very light application. Okay, and the rest of the stuff we know uh, that I love, uh, you know, the e.l.f. putty blush, uh, the lipstick, everything. So yeah, but this is a full base of cream products. I actually really like it. So hopefully it does last throughout the day and doesn't 
kind of slip right off my face. Okay, you guys, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It truly helps my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. And until next time.